story guys before you begin the video i'll just leave a side note that uh, you can find me on instagram and twitter down below in the link of the description i'll also display over here so without further ado let's get into the video what is up guys vincent here and back with another math video sorry it took me so long to post uh, up uh, uh, another math video because uh, I've been posting a lot of stuff in the meantime, and you'll know what I mean if you check out my blog. The link will be down below if you want to check it out. But here what I have is just a thanks to all of you and YouTube for the amazing support. Um, And here you can click here to see the last two videos and to see the second one here because... Before you do this lesson, because basically this whole lesson is just another way of doing this. Different format. And the support for the previous videos was amazing. Uh, three views for the... Not three views, three likes for the first video and two likes for the other. So that's five, and I promised I'd post another video at four, so without further ado... Let's get into the actual example. Alright, so this topic is going to be about uh, integration by parts. That's the name of how you would solve an integral. And I love this uh, because it's so fluid and simple when you apply it when necessary. And uh, I'm going to show you. It's actually based on derivative of a product rule. So we get, should look something like this. If you've done this before, you might want to research it up if you didn't, haven't done this before. But if you have done this before, you should know what I'm talking about. So it will look like something like this. And then if you understand about it, you should be familiar with this. And then uh, we are going to rewrite that as... Alright, so now if we were to integrate uh, both of these, the sides will get this, and we'll get equals, and then the integrated parts. And now if you rewrite that again, you are going to get uh, this, which is the actual formula. So... Actually, I was kind of very surprised when I first heard about this, that, all right, derivative, okay. So, now I'm going to show you an example of how you can apply this to solving an integral. All right, so this is the example. So, I have marked integration by parts, uh, and uh, what we have here is a shorter example than the finding, uh, finding the equations of the tangent line. This is a little shorter to do, but it takes some. Um... Never mind. So, anyways, um, let's, first we need to have a function, like in the previous math lesson. The link will be down below if, for if you haven't checked it out yet. So, f of x equals x times sine x. That's my function. Now, this integration by parts, uh, before we begin, this integration by parts applies to some sort of multiplication like this. It could be x times ln x, or x times log x, x times cosine, x times arcsine, either, either one of those, or any of them. So anyways, um... Write down the formula when you're first doing this. Uh, I already have it in my head. And uh, it's actually quite easy to learn for me, so it should be for you too. Write the formula down first. And uh, now we need to define what is u and what's v. So u is going to equal x. d of v is going to equal sine x dx. Okay, it has to be dx on the end. 
because you can also say it like dv over dx equals sine of x. And now v equals minus cosine x. Now how do we know it's minus cosine x? Well, basically, it's the antiderivative of sine x, or the antiderivative of dv. That's a good way to say it. And d of u is basically a derivative of u. So it's going to be 1 dx or dx. So uh, you're going to understand why dx is there. Her, her because you have, you're going to have du over dx equals 1. All right, and now there's actually a better way of telling what u will be and dv will be. u is usually always going to be the simple function. Now, if you were to separate these two, you'll got, get f of x equals x and uh, f of x equals sine x. Now, f of x equals x is simpler than f of x equals sine x, so that's normally what's going to be your u. f of x equals x. Well, generally, it's going to be x. And dv is going to be more like the complicated ones, like sine. So, hope you know what I mean. Now we write this like we did in the last lesson. We rewrite this as the integral. And then we apply your u. So u is going to go be in this x here. And now v is going to be applied to cosine but with a minus, so it's minus x times cosine, and that will be your u times v, u times v, minus x times cosine x, plus the antiderivative of cosine. Now the reason why plus is because your v goes here and you have that Minus, so minus and minus equals plus. So after you do the antiderivative of that, you're going to get minus x times cosine x plus sine x. All right? And now if you rewrite this, you'll get sine x minus x times cosine x. Now, it is optional to rewrite it. You don't have to rewrite it, but it's optional to do. But... I like rewriting it sometimes. Not if you like have a whole long line, I might not rewrite the whole thing, but you get what I mean. And this is minus here, x times cosine x. This is minus. Sorry about the mistake. And that's it. Very quick technique. Uh, hope you guys can learn something from it. Let me know in the comments below if this helped. Or let me know in the comments in general if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help out. And, uh... Smash that like button down below if we can get to three likes on the next video. I'll post the next video this Saturday if we can get before Saturday. But if, if we can get three likes in some time, then I'll post one around. So stay tuned for more math videos, even though I don't post ones very often. Stay tuned and... I'll see you guys in the next math video. Hope you enjoyed the video.